In the last video, we looked at two main problems encountered with naive Bayes, and one of them is the occurrence of zeros when a particular combination of a feature and a class variable value is not present in training data. In this video, we will look at a way to handle that, and that method is called Laplace smoothing. So here we'll discuss K Laplace smoothing, where K is the count that is added to your count, where K is a value that is added to your count. And you can see here that it's added in the denominator as well as the numerator. So let's look at an example to understand this better. What is K and um, uh, how it's added to the count calculation. So if you have two heads and one tail, so this is your data set, a simple data set, and with Laplace smoothing of k is equal to zero, so k is equal to zero Laplace smoothing, this is nothing but naive base without Laplace smoothing, right? So this is naive base without Laplace smoothing. That's first one. And here we can see that that is nothing but two heads out of three total tosses. So we have two by three by one by three. So we are counting the number of heads by total number of tosses, number of tails by total number of tosses. When you have Laplace 1 smoothing of x, then what do you do? So here substitute that in the formula. So we have 2 is our initial count plus k value is 1. So we have 1 by total number of tosses that is 3 plus k times 1 times cardinality of x. So what is the cardinality of x here? What di How many different values are possible for x? x can take heads, x can take tails. So two different possible values. So now that would be times 2. So now we have that to be equal to 3 over 5, this value here, right? Let's do 4 tails as well. So for tails, we have one tail, the count that was recorded, plus k value of 1 by 3 plus k times cardinality of x is 2. So that is nothing but 2 by 5. Right? So now let's look at Laplace smoothing of 100. So for 100, we have 2 plus k is 100 by total tosses 3 plus k is 100. 100 times cardinality of x is 2. So that's nothing but 102 by 203 right so we can see that k sort of is similar to having a prior so now when you had k value of 1 it had very little effect on your final values 
but when you had a higher k value now the final counts reflect the k value more than the actual recorded data because the recorded data is 2 but k value is 100 so 102 is more is closer to k than it is to the recorded number of heads so as always this functions like a prior and if you have a higher value of k higher way higher than the amount number of data instances that you have so you have only three tosses here three data instances for that if you have a k value of 100 that's going to be really high and that is going to tilt the values toward the prior or toward k and that's going to affect your calculations so oftentimes the value of k should be chosen very carefully you cannot choose a too high value which will have the same effect of choosing a high prior which reflects more in the calculation than the actual recorded instances another thing to keep in mind when incorporating probabilities and this is also important for your homework always use log because this multiplication probability is is less than one right value of probability is between zero and one and this product right here could multiply into a very very small number because all each number is less than one it's between zero and one so you're multiplying fractions and then you keep multiplying them and you will end up getting a really low small very small number and there is a high chance that this will lead to an underflow if your computer cannot take the, those many decimal points the solution is to use logarithm and if you use logarithm then you can convert p1 star p2 which is what we are computing the from the formula instead of that you can use log p1 plus log p2 e power log p1 plus log p2 so that is helpful the logger the log form is helpful in avoiding this underflow 